Hey, Blood Dads, we are here in Dunellen at Rainbow River. So we're just a little bit away from uh, Rainbow Springs. We're somewhere around 20 to 30 miles away from Crystal River. We were just there in that area um, about two weeks ago for our spring break. So right now, as you can see, um, we have our first uh, canoe that has already been um, pumped up and prepared. This is the Hydro Force Ventura Times 2 uh, kayak. And as you can see, um, it's fully inflatable. We've got uh, places where we can put our, um, our paddles. Over here are our seats. We've got two of them right over here. One over here and one over here. Um, we set up uh, this little mesh bag, which we're gonna put our pump in. And um, all of that um, did not come with a case. So we had to get on Amazon and this case right over here, this large duffel bag, as you can imagine, you could take and break this down and you could put it in this bag and this bag was about $30, okay? So now that um, you've seen all that, you're going to watch me put all this together. And uh, right now, uh, whatever the time is um, that is set up, uh, we're gonna put a timer on it and we'll see how we uh, put this all together. Okay, here we go. So we're gonna stand back so you can get the whole picture. There we go, from start to finish. We got the paddles in here. I've got the seat back in here. We've got the pump. So that's all put to the side. And now as you can see, I'm taking it um, out of the bag. Again, this is a, a, a pretty large bag. Again, $30 on Amazon. And now we're going to unwrap it. So I folded this uh, about two or three times. So the things that are already set up on here is the mesh bag. We've got our safety lines on each side. Um, and on the inside as well. We've got our skegs and fins, as well as this back piece, which I forgot to show you, that uh, gets tucked in the back. So it does not, um, uh, interfere with the uh, the portholes where you put the air so that'll be in the back so let me go ahead and put these aside now we bought this second one because we loved it so much and now you're gonna see me pump this whole thing up in less than five minutes but first I have to set the holes in here the ports in the correct way before I start pumping because that's important so as you can see I'm screwing this in and there's three ports where I'm going to be putting the hose into this one this one and then the final one is right over here I gotta make sure that's secure because the last thing you want to do on the on the river or wherever you're kayaking you don't want the air to come out <laughs> that'd be very detrimental while you're on the river so as you can see there's numbers one two and three so we're going to start at the number one spot and we're going to start pumping all right here we go <sighs> so the advantage of having a portable kayak is that you are able to um, carry it around and not necessarily carry it on the roof of your vehicle. Those are very heavy and cumbersome So <clears throat> to have something as portable like this that you're able to pump <clears throat> Inflate and deflate and be able to put it in a bag and put it in um, It's nice and convenient and mobile very helpful especially when you're traveling got to feel the tent the tension still needs a little bit more
All right, and that's number one. So take the port out, cover the hole. And now we go to number two. Okay. Here's number two. very large pump which allows to take in more air to put out more air and in no time you fill that one of the two bladders on each side pretty solid. That's port number two. Now we're going to number three, which is the bladder in the middle. That's is where this is where we're gonna sit. So you don't want to over inflate it. If you over inflate it, then there's a possibility of pop it popping and losing air. This is not a flotation device. <laughs> to me it's it's like it's an air mattress with fins. <laughs> There's port number three. So I need to make sure that it's secure. If you come closer, you can see here, this port right here, this needs to be solid and tight. Okay, so no air. This part right here is where I unleash it, and then this goes into this port hole right over here. So before you get going on the, on the water, you need to make sure that those are secure, okay? So the time should be less than five minutes. So the next thing I'm gonna put on right now are the seats. So the seat covers are important for seat cushions. Kind of winded because I already did this one over here. So there's Velcro on the bottom, sticks to the bottom. You wanna make sure that you line up the straps properly. so they don't get tangled. So as I weave this through, you need to make sure it's nice and taut and tight and that it's at the level where you're gonna be sitting comfortably. So, and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and tie it. Make sure it's secure on one side. You can see here. And now I'm gonna do the same thing on the other side. So you put it tight, next thing you're gonna do is tie this end as well. So this is the back one. Start either way, front or back, doesn't matter. Okay, that's one of two. Here's the second one. So the second one is gonna go in here. Again, you gotta line it up with your Velcro. Fold these, you can see this is the brand new one because this hasn't been um, um, used. It's, it's pretty straight. So then I mold it to the shape of the, uh, the kayak on the inside, the interior, weave it through the, oops, see, I it backwards, so you gotta make sure that you're weaving it the right way. Oh, I did it wrong. There we go, now it should be straight. Did I 
that just come off? <laughs> Alright, there we go. Alright, so it's on there. Strap it in. It's one side. And now I'm going to go ahead and do the other side. <sighs> So blood daughter number one is being my assistant since I can't carry it while I'm doing the work. And I'm doing all the work. <laughs> I helped you with the other one. You sure did. A little bit. <laughs> anyway, so here's the, here's, the, um, here's the second strap. It's fully on there. Now we got two of these. Okay, well what we're going to do is we're going to put the pump in here. You can also put some other items in here as well. Like food. Keep them safe and secure. But again, when you're on the water, you need your uh, safety stuff. So I can detach this. And the other thing I'm going to put in there too is this thing. And it's not necessarily just the instructions, but if you get a hole, then you've got a patch repair kit. They've included it in your Hydroforce. So we're going to secure that right here in the mesh bag. And now, the final thing that we're going to do is that we've got to assemble a couple of things. Now the last thing before you get into the water is you can't put these on yet. These go on the bottom, and we don't want to stress it because uh, this could possibly break off, and you need your fins in order to get some directional movement. So here's that bladder again. Oh, here I go. I totally forgot. So I'm going to go ahead and go over here to the second one. I haven't put it away. And it takes two pumps to fill this up. Here we go. We'll put it right through the, the port here. One, two. Now let's do three. Three. That's it. All you need is three. I'm going to close this up. So come to the back and I'll show you where this goes. So as you come to the back, we don't want anything touching this area right over here, any of your belongings, because if it does, it may inadvertently loosen, and next thing you know, you've got air coming out of your canoe. So this triangle-shaped, um, uh, or pyramid-shaped buoy is gonna get shoved right in between, right here, there. Now, as you can see, you've got space in here to put your stuff, which, which we're going to do, okay. The last thing that we're going to have is to put together our paddles. This is the middle piece right here. So all you have to do is put it onto one of the pieces and start twisting. And as you're twisting, now it's nice and secure. Okay. The other one you want to do is you want to put it on the other end and make sure that the paddles are equal. So if this is the con cave area you want the other one to be concave too so you have a nice um, not only lined up for a nice firm grip but you keep the paddles uh, equal in the water as you're kayaking okay so there's the first one here comes the second one second one tighten it's one side and here's the second one Let's line it up. That looks tight. We're going to tighten those two. Okay. Oops. That looks pretty good. Okay. So now we're going to strap it to the kayak. This is very convenient. On another kayak that we we're using, you had to carry your paddles. This one has convenient straps where you can strap the, the paddle handles to the boat. So you don't have to carry the paddles and the boat at the same time. Just carry the boat. So there's one side, and now the other. Now when we first got this, and we went to Hunter Springs two uh, weeks ago, literally took it out of the box and I didn't know what I was doing. So now that I've had at least one chance to take it apart, put it together and take it apart, um, it's not hard. I mean, you can become an expert. This is only my second time. Actually, third time because we assembled it last night to make sure that there were no holes um, uh, overnight. Because the first one that we used, it was an Intex, literally blew it up, 
one side let all the air out and like we didn't even get it out on the water $99 down the drain which returned it back to where it was so where we got these two is at Academy Sports and each of these cost um, $170 plus tax so uh, um, this is now our second one we love it so now we're gonna go ahead and take this part and we're gonna put it in here let me detach it the bags both of these bags so the sun's not in your eyes we're gonna have you stand over there so you can see this is gonna go inside here I said before so the fins let me show you the fins again uh, the fins are in here so typically there's two fins we lost one of the fins at, near Hunter Springs three sister springs and Crystal River so we'll put one right here before we get in the water or when we get in the water where it's shallow we'll go ahead and put the fin on so we're gonna have you go over here so the Sun's not in here in the videos eyes now we're gonna put this right over here okay. all right that's it easy peasy so this is the hydro four Hydro Force Ventura X2, meaning for two people. $170, got it at Academy Sports. Now, Academy Sports doesn't always have these. You literally have to search for them. These are highly coveted. So one of the things that we're gonna do now is we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna take this to the river, Rainbow River here in Dunellen. So if you like what you see, go ahead and like, comment, subscribe. Don't forget to hit the notification bell. Ding. Share, share, share. Share the information from this Hydro Force. And uh, we'll put the information down below. If you have any comments, if you ever used this before, um, then um, yeah, I'd love to hear about it. Okay, back to uh, you, and uh, we'll see you in the river.